this client wants to do floor plan. Basically, we get every nook and cranny in this house, and uh, we're doing this one together because it makes it go a little bit quicker. One of us moves it and then hides while the other one pushes the button. And teamwork. All right, one of the things I did is I went completely straight from the front door, straight through the living room. And then once I had that straight shot, I went around to the kitchen and then went through this hallway back to one of the positions. So one thing you need to make sure when you're doing the Matterport, especially, or the floor plan, is when you come back to a spot and you meet, see if it lines up. Let's check it out. So it should line up on 15. Or really close to it. Number 18 landed pretty close to number three. <sighs> Team awesome. Something that's important to do is to have doors open that go to closets for the floor plan, not the Matterport. You don't want people to look in that on the Matterport. But for the floor plan, you can go in there, take the picture, so the person that put together the floor plan can actually measure it. And I always do this for the floor plan. And when I post the Matterport tour, if I'm doing both, I erase these two hot spots, these zones. So when you're doing the actual tour, you don't see this part. And so what I did is I took the pictures with the door open all the way in there. Now I'm coming back out with the door open again, clear. And now I'm going to close the door. Make sure this lines up in the right spot by taking the picture again without moving it. Yeah. Clear. So we're at number 22 right now. This next one, 23, should land right on top of it. And if it does, it will be good to go down the hall. Boom. So, tip. When you're doing a walk-in closet, to make it easier on the Matterport floor plan people, get a couple pictures of the closet, especially if there's clothes and stuff in it, because from experience, if that area is blocked in and they can't measure, they might just make that a little black area in your floor plan, which sucks. And it takes way too long to get them to fix something. So you'd have to fix it on your own, which is doable, but not ideal. And to save time, <sighs> remember places you put your 360 camera, like this is at the front door and I was just way back in the master bedroom. What the uh, Matterport Capture app does is try to line up your most recent 360 capture with your last one. And if it doesn't line up, it will line up with something similar that it just took. And I just put, that was the master closet. Then I jumped all the way over to the front door and 43 and one are really close together. So that worked out. So I'll continue on, get that room, get this room, and then continue. For instance, I'm gonna be coming back to go down these stairs. So I'm gonna remember this little spot, line it up right where those cross. And then when I get done with this side of the house, I'll just jump all the way back to here. Once it lines up, I'll go downstairs. And for the floor plan, open up shower curtains, open up shower doors. For the Matterport, depending on what's on the other side of the shower curtain, you might want to keep it closed. So take again, take two different photos, open, closed. I was going to impress everybody with a pro tip with the garage door, because garage doors close by themselves. But I forgot the door stops. Bring door stops. Get a four pack from Amazon because you're bound to forget one at jobs that you're just at, uh, like I did. But we'll figure this out. I will show you how I get through a door. Hold it with my fingers like this, and then take the picture. Since this is the floor plan, I don't care if my hand's in the way, I just want my body in the way, it thinks it's a wall or anything like that. So I'm holding the door open, clear? Yes. Holding the door open, wait for the beep. Keep the door in the same spots. And then I'm gonna take it again, clear. Now I'm gonna come in, or oh, I'm gonna bring it out. I bring it out, here I'll show you. I'll bring it out there, and now I'm gonna get it back as far as I can, hold the door where it was, clear.
What are you doing? Dork. I did not say clear. He's <laughs> <laughs> dork. <laughs> Get out. <laughs> I couldn't open the door. <laughs> so as you see, they all lined up straight. I'm just gonna take one more of the garage, maybe two more because it's a good sized one, and then move on. Now we're gonna go down the basement. I'm gonna see if the lineup works. So, gonna line up on that spot that I originally did. And when do I change the middle? Clear. And we should be right where the basement is on 51. Or where it starts. Boom, right where exact. What was your question? Are we gonna change the floor? Yes, but when we're all the way downstairs, we'll change the floor. That's, you can change it when you do this. When you set down to the lower level, you could change it, but I always wait until I'm at the lower level before I change it. Now this is where I change it to the another floor. And when you're doing the Matterport, make sure you change the basement to floor one and the first floor to floor two, if you have a basement. And pro tip, if you're coming down the stairs and you think you can start anywhere for the next floor. You are incorrect. It still lines up with the previous. You just don't see it on your Matterport scan. So you wanna make sure that you're still doing the steps and make sure it lines up before you start because otherwise your stairs for the basement won't line up for your stairs going up. This curtain, shower curtain is affixed right there. This door is open for the bathroom. So I am squeezing that in there to get behind all that. Basically you wanna fill in as much as that as possible. Thanks for hanging out with us. And yeah, it was fun. Hide and seek. Hi, yes, hide and seek. <laughs> uh, if you want to see what the floor plan looks like, comment, like, follow, subscribe. Uh, I will share the floor plan in a short, probably, because it's not a uh, long form video kind of ideal thing. <laughs>